www.bbc.co.uk slash radio one. Hello, this is Chris from the band Coldplay. I've taken over the Max Gone Home, and that was Orbital and uh, Funny Break, and it's released on um, April the 2nd. Chris Martin is here, oh, co hosting the show tonight. Uh, yeah, you can tie me up, you can bound me to a chair, it won't work. Uh, tonight it's uh, Lamac and Martin, or Martin and Lamac. We haven't I'd quite worked this out. that way around. Was it? Okay, all right, we'll negotiate. Did our people that. not tell you? Uh, what, your folk and my folk talking about it. What we're going to do tonight in the next hour and a half is uh, take some of your emails. That's steve.lamac at bbc.co.uk. If you've got a question for uh, Chris Martin from Coldplay, that's double Brit Award winner, Chris Martin from Coldplay. Uh, also, we're going to be playing some of your favourite records which you brought along. Well, a selection of them, not all of them, obviously, because you've got quite a few CDs which you brought along. But we're going to start with this one, which is At The Drive-In. Yeah. Now, say, uh, At The Drive-In. Where'd you come across them? Do you know what? We were in Australia <coughs> the other day, and... Um we were just hanging out and uh, at the driving turned up when we were in Sydney and um, they were doing this festival with us and uh, we thought there's no way we'll ever be friends with that band because they're so cool mm. and we're so not cool. And, and they keep themselves to themselves. <coughs> I mean, both yeah, they of do. Them, actually, you know, both your bands. You yeah, know, yeah, but it ended up themselves. like Jim has just been over at our house and stuff recently and uh, he's just about to get married and we all turned into showbiz pals, you know? Did you? Yeah. And so, had you heard the album before that? Yeah. Yeah? So well, we've were... seen him in Los Angeles, of all places. Right. They're amazing, you know. But yeah. everybody knows that, so... It's at the driving, yeah. on the session. Listen to how heavy this vocal is. Listen. It's amazing. comes from the album Relationship of Command. It's at the drive-in and it's Ark Arsenal, the choice of Chris Martin from Coldplay. It is. <laughs> I'm going to have Make to... Make sure you want to just hit people. Yeah, it is, but don't you find that sometimes you just want a record which sounds like people banging a wall. That, uh, you know, you just want to hit things sometimes. Yeah? <sighs> Uh, we'll be talking about various subjects uh, before 10 o'clock, I'm sure, but we have to start with the Brit Awards, really. Were you uh, nervous yeah. the night before? Did you sleep? Yeah, yeah. Did you? Yeah. 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 And when you got there? I can't remember who with, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> and what were you thinking as the awards were coming up? I was thinking that Williams, we have to beat Williams. Really? Williams? Do you have him in your sights? I, you know, you know what, the Brits was, because we did the NME Awards about three weeks ago and I hated that from start to finish. Mm. And I thought I'm never, ever, ever going to an awards thing again because... I just feel really stupid, but I, but I wore a jacket for the Brit Awards, and that made me feel like, you know... Okay. Does that put you in character? Yeah, it puts you in kind of, I'm pop star, you know, hello Kylie, yeah. that sort of thing. Next year it'll be shades. Next year it'll be shades, and I'll be, you know, <coughs> having but jokes with people. It's like a huge school awards thing. Yeah, right, though, right, it? right, I said that to someone yesterday. Yeah, and that's what it's like, it's like the school awards plus the end of term disco. Yeah. Sort of all rolled into one. It's yeah. a bit of a strange kind of thing. I mean, you do turn into royalty, don't you? As soon as, as soon as you win an award, you never have to buy a drink anymore. You probably have to shake everyone's hands. Did you? Well, Elton John come over as soon as we won. Did he? So I don't <laughs> know what... Yeah. What? Do you want to know how to play yellow? How do you do those difficult keyboards said, and parachutes? Yeah, exactly. I said, <laughs> well, Elton, the book's available. <laughs> it is. Well, I should mention that the book is available. Learn to play Coldplay. Our publishing company were going on us for ages saying, you've got to make a book of your album because people want to play it. And we didn't for ages, but now we made one. That's is that right? One. It's a complete rip-off. What is it? Yeah. What, and it's just, what is it? The, well, it isn't the, a rip -off, the parts. but I, mean, I don't know why anyone would, you know. Well, once it's... Learn to play Bob Dylan first, but you don't like Bob Dylan. I'd, I'd, oh, we'll have this argument later on, I think. Okay. Uh, and what did you do yesterday, then, after the big big night out? Did you um, sit there having a terrible come to Did you, you know watch it on TV? The big, day? the big day was even better. I was chatting to uh, Bono. Yeah? You know? Is he a nice guy? Yeah, he's, you know, it was awesome because I was like 13, you know, when like, Acting Baby come out. Mm. And uh, there he was. So it, it was funny. In the flesh. Yeah, but they're all just normal people, you know. And is that... Is Except that, that he can go, ah, wanna run <laughs> better than I can. This is from um, Sam Sanderson, or Sanderson, yeah. in uh, South Shields. It says, I've just been sitting here all day and wondering what Chris had on his tummy at the Brits. Do you, Do you know, I had the word thank you. Ah. 
which I thought was the most boring thing to have on your stomach. <laughs> Normally, it's a good bit of advice, but you can, uh, if you get a permanent marker and you draw six squares on your chest, or not your chest, your tummy, whatever, it gives you an abdomen. Does it? Yeah. From a distance, the girls will be impressed. Let me tell you that from experience. More tips like that yeah. coming in the next <laughs> two hours. Quality radio from BBC Radio <laughs> 1. Chris Martin from Coldplay, Steve Lamack and the Gorillas next. This is the single. This is Clint Eastwood. Oh, 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 oh. I ain't happy. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine. Taken from the forthcoming album, and uh, unless you've managed to get hold of it some other way, probably your first time of hearing it, I guess. Know your enemy. Manic Street Preachers from the album Know Your Enemy, yeah. And it's called uh, Intravenous Agnostic. Here's a couple of emails for uh, Chris from Coldplay. Uh, I see, this is, um, oh no, I see, I'll do that one in a second. Uh, this is Amy who says, Chris, your book's wrong. My mate brought it after exams. We're not uh, uh, sure about some of the chords. Have you checked it? I have checked it. I do. I sat for six hours with this guy. And so did Johnny, our guitarist, and we showed them every single chord. Really? On the whole album, because we use those as funny tunings, you know? Where you, like, change strings to make it sound different. Right. And, uh, so every short chord should so, be, if it's not, though... Honest, honest... I'm I, really sorry. Honest, Amy Leggett, it's right. Uh, Cindy, who's in Michigan, in, uh, America, says, oh, uh, I saw you at Chicago over a week ago at the Riviera Theatre. Uh, I really like the gig. I kind of felt like I was at a Barbara like Streisand concert. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I kind of felt like I was at a Barbara Streisand concert, though, for some reason. I don't know why. What's that, you reckon? I, mean, I don't want to be demoralised <laughs> anymore. <laughs> There's nothing there that's good. <laughs> we'll talk about America in a second, if you want no, to. Oh, do we have to? Yeah, of course we've got to, because it's... Um, but a lot of people enjoyed it, you know. They did. But there's this guy called Ray Bird, who I read it on the email, and he, he was like... <sighs> he was talking about us as if we were sort of evil. Really? You know, a lot of people think we are evil, I and mean, I suppose it's fair enough. In kind of what way? Just in the sort of way. <laughs> in that whole sort of live and let die voodoo way. That's a strange take, isn't it? I don't know. But, you know I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm going on holiday tomorrow because I'm just, everybody's, everybody's you got to, you, out to get us. No. I'm going to play a trail. We're going to play yeah, a record. No, and I'm going to come back trail. and give you a slap. Radio 1 Online has a brand new look. Look. It's bigger. Better. Brand new. Live chat rooms. Music. Blowing up big, as they say, on both sides of the Atlantic. It's uh, Lincoln Park, going to be the next single. That's Crawling. What were your impressions of the States? Did you buy loads of records out there? Uh, yeah, we, we bought loads of um, guitars. Oh, did you? Yeah. What, things that you can't get here or yeah. on, on a whim? We bought loads of everything. <laughs> did you? There's just so much stuff in America. Yeah, there is. Yeah. And, you know, you, like, food and everything. There's a lot of food. Yeah. yeah. It's it? I fucking believe it. And what is it? Did you have a big bus? We had two big buses. Did you? One for everybody else, one for me. Right. With a gym on in it. And a little recording studio. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And what, all the sort of, you know, the big fridge. Yeah, we, well, we know we had two because we have loads of people come with us now. Mm. We so have an entourage, I think it's called, like Jennifer Lopez or something. Right. But we do, I, you know, we walk in and then two more people walk in, then four more people walk in carrying everything. And, and two more people come in behind them. Do you, <laughs> and do you have, do you have somebody standing outside the bus to make sure it's alright for you to get off? And then another one waiting at the door of the building before you can walk in somewhere? And two people are going to the toilet to check that there's no one else in there before you can go yeah, in? Do you know what, we've never, what, do you mean security? Yeah. We've never had any of that, but we were with uh, Limp Biscuit in, um, um, what's it called? Australia. Right. And, uh, then we saw Eminem at the Brit Awards, and those two guys, Fred Durst and Eminem, have the biggest security men I've ever seen. They're just... What, physically, they're Yeah, really? defy belief. Yeah? The f we met um, Limp Biscuit, or we saw them, and they had like a hundred people, and they were like all racing each other. It was very frightening. And it, um, you came down uh, sick, unfortunately, yeah. in the States, didn't you? What was it? Was it just a uh, really bad flu, or, or was it something to do with your throat? Because when we saw you in New York, it was like... It was, yeah. uh, no? 
off the, tell me off the record okay. later on. Uh, there's also one or two people who want to wish you happy birthday, but I'll give those to you instead of reading it out. Okay. And this is from Andy, who's emailed in, uh, say, uh, Steve, I'm off to New York uh, next week myself. I was wondering if you could recommend any good record shops. Uh, depending on what you like, Andy, if you like slightly left of centre stuff, uh, there's a record shop called Other Music, which is on, oh, Broadway and 4th. You see, I, I just really can't sell it, can I? Uh, Fourth and Broadway, just near the tower, downtown Tower Records. If you look sort of left, east, go uh, Broadway and Fourth, go east, other records. I've got this there, actually. This is by Death by QC, Death Cab for QC, I should say. And this is called Photo Booth. at college that's good apparently. Isn't it? yeah it's by the death cab for cutie somebody was telling me the other day and i'm not sure if this is true but there is a bonzo dog doodah band song called death cab for cutie which may or may not be where this band got their uh, name from uh, but anyway it's from an ep which is called forbidden love which is out in the states you know that guy uh, who was just talking about new york yeah andy you should was. warn him that um when you get in a taxi in new york you shouldn't be frightened because you get in and you close the door, and suddenly this, like, celebrity voice talks to you. So he goes, yeah, I'm Woody Allen, uh, strap yourself in, you know? Yeah, because you have to be safe. Is that your... Well, the first time... Uh, Actually, is that your Woody Allen? <laughs> no, 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 that's, uh, that's the producer. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that freaked me out the first time we got in, because I thought, who's that? It's true. What, what happens is when you shut the door and the, they... Well, it's when they actually put the meter on. It's like cars. Yeah. And then it suddenly says, yeah, wear your seatbelt. And then when you go, it goes, thanks a lot. <laughs> like that. Yeah. But it's not... It doesn't, doesn't talk like that because Woody Allen obviously wouldn't do it and I can't do a Woody Allen impression. Which probably also would. But you get minor celebrities doing it, you know. Yeah. Like Kid Rock and all that. You could do that over here, couldn't you? I'll in, do it, yeah. In Black Cows. Not... not, not Liam would do one. Not you. Liam. All right. <laughs> Strap myself in. <laughs> <laughs> and I do one. All right, hello. Strap uh, yourself in, please. Can yeah. I be more polite? Um, and yeah, be safe. Be safe. N not sorry. No, exactly. Yeah. Thank you very much. But that's really true. I'm not messing around, you know. No, but the sort of people who do it over here would be the sort of people who'd be, you know, in celebrity squares. Would be right down near the bottom or something, or right. the sort of blankety blank level. Maybe uh, yeah. that sort of celeb they, level. They might get Titch Marsh. You might, might do. I don't know. Who can these days? Who recharges to the earth? Um, talking of Liam, uh, your mate. Do you know, gonna I'm going to play Oasis because I love Oasis. With a didn't, didn't Liam come to one of your gigs? Uh, yeah, or has you, been know a couple of gigs? Every, you know what, because this has been the weird thing for us, you know, because we love our band, you know, and yet we won that Brit Award, you know, that like best mm. group or something stupid, you know, but like someone else won another, you know, it's all a bit stupid. Mm. Well, everyone... But we think there's lots of better bands, you know, and... Oasis, I just think, are the, the bomb, if I can use a hip-hop expression. <laughs> and we'll see can I use a hip-hop expression? You can. Do you want to drop the Oasis tune right here? Yeah, 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 because uh, I just love it. And it's called Cigarettes and Alcohol. They're going to be big. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for them, kids. It's Oasis on the evening session. Life. Damn it, how good is that? It's Oasis. I can't believe you're just letting us play tunes, this is great. Yeah, I'm and... I'm starting to relax. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'll be Simon well, Mayo's gone, I can have his job. Do you reckon? Yeah. No, you don't have to get up early every morning. Just think about like that, you'd have to be here. Early yeah. doors. Um, Oasis, cigarettes and alcohol. <laughs> were, you, were you Oasis? It's in my I didn't really sound like it. My, <laughs> Can you do it if you take a deep breath? Go on. The floor no, is yours. No, no, I can't. But do you know what the other day you've I dropped to, it? You've right? got to do it now. You've got to do it. You've Steve, got to do it. Seriously, listen to this, right? Because I uh, dropped my guitar in uh, Chicago. And whenever I drop my guitar in a concert, I don't know what to do. So I just do a Liam. But it just looks terrible because I'm kind of a middle class, short head, you know, geeky boy. You need a big coat. You need a big coat and you need an attitude, you know. I just think they're great. I just and P Polly Harvey, every, you know, there's so many great people. But you see, this is the thing that everyone will always think that everyone else is the better group. Anyway, stands stands the reason. Oh, we're the best group, but. You know. <laughs> 
course. Uh, Chris Martin. Of course we are, you know. From Coldplay. You've not even heard Yellow. It's my turn. Uh, Chris, <laughs> Chris Martin. Yeah, I have all over American TV. Chris Martin from Coldplay and Steve Lamack on the evening session till 10 o'clock. Still to come. Uh, more emails. Steve.lamack at bbc.co.uk. Uh, phone us. If you, we'll open the phone line, shall we? 08700. Is anybody 100, that phone us if you're listening? Isn't there a football match on? I think there is. When did it kick off? Is it? Is it half so, time? Yeah. But it's, uh, it's not on BBC. Right, so there we go. So uh, we've had loads of uh, emails already just from people like, this is Joanna, look, how strange must this be? Joanna, who's in Warsaw in Poland, who just says, uh, I'd just like to send my best greetings to Chris. I saw Coldplay with a huge bunch of friends and fans on December the 6th in Berlin. Oh yeah. Wow. Do you keep, um, do you keep a diary or anything like this to remember no. any of these things? No. I keep, uh, like, tip, not tidbits, that's the wrong word. Uh, you know. Sal and tip marks, that's what you've got on the brain. I like, uh, little things. Of mementos. mementos, yeah, exactly. Right. And I have a sort of pile of them in my bedroom. What sort of thing? Knickknacks? Just like, uh, yeah, you know, it could be a piece of hair of a fan or... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, joking. A limb. Okay, just like people's pieces of paper, you know, all the boring stuff, laminates and all that sort of nonsense. It's anyway... It's it's Will's drumsticks. Will's drumsticks? You know. What? Pieces of, I don't know, we get thrown things on stage, I don't keep them really, but I just keep bits of paper and funny things that have been written and all that sort of thing. So it's, it's just things which are evocative afterwards, yeah, you think, that exactly. will sort of bring you back to a place. I'll look at that when I'm 16, ah, that shoe reminds me of <laughs> that, Cambridge. That beer, Matt, yeah. is so Alabama. Yeah, right. Yeah, totally. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Um, What's now? Terrace. We're, we're going to play Terrace because this is, does this take you back, talking of going terrace, back? Terrace, you, know, you see, all these, you know, sometimes I think we've got a long way to go because this, these, this band, we went on tour with when we were just nippers well, about was a, year, a, year ago, ago. a year ago right <laughs> before we uh you know before we met cut your hair kylie yeah before i cut my hair exactly yeah and um they you know they were great they had he, he's a good front man gavin goodwin mm -hmm. and good front men aren't easy to find you know you get ones like me and then you get you know are good i'm good i'm not you know i'm not trying to diss mm -hmm. myself you know what mm -hmm. i mean i'm good yeah when i'm in the best group in britain i'm good I'm but sorry. uh he's really good he does all his moves a bit like uh, Ian Curtis, a bit like Liam, a mm. bit like Cedric from uh, At The Driving. Mm. PJ Harvey, she's got the moves. I, th I was just thinking that um, that sounds like a song. A good front man is hard to find. Well, believe me, it is a song. Terrace and the new single which Remember is called that Fabricated being... Lunacy. Was that in the set? I think it was. Time? Will always used yeah. to go around going, <laughs> uh, And that was that. His, well, his None of our impressions His impersonation good, of Gary is much better than your Woody Allen what so far. What do you do to me? While you've got, while you've got, you know, while you've warmed the voice up, Charlotte Tullett in Oxford, yeah. amongst others, many others, have How said, many others? Many others? How many do you want? This one, this one, and this one at least. That's five. Okay, so far. So it's three. So, <laughs> and this one over here. Look, stop interrupting. <laughs> because you know what I'm going to say. Uh, Charlotte says, can you give us any sneak previews of any of your new songs? Go on, please, for your fans. <sighs> what do they sound that's like? That's one. Is it? They sound like Limp Bizkit. No, they don't. What's your heart? What's your heart? Like that, no, one, of them, one, of them, one of them goes like this, he goes, Where do we go? Nobody knows. One of them's kind of disco. It's kind of like, mm, 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 like that. I'm, I don't want to give too much away because of Napster. <laughs> so, uh, you're giving Believe me, they'll be on the internet by tomorrow. Virtually nothing. Why, why do you think we got one, we got one. We got one called, uh, called um, um, In Isolation. That's really good. One called... Um, well, it goes, it goes, hey, your guess is a guess, man. Mm. They're all on electric guitar, you know, like Dylan going electric, you know. Mm, where do we go now, but no, yeah. You know? <laughs> they're good, they're good, though. I think our next album, I'm, that's the only thing that keeps me going, to be honest, because all this stuff, mm. the other stuff is kind of weird. Well, you must be, I mean, you must be itching to actually, where do you find the times, all right, the songs at the moment that you've been doing? I don't know, buses? but well, a lot's happened to us, you know, so, mm. so we've got a lot of ideas, and then, um, so I'd done like some demos of four tracks, you know, and then, um, I did them at Christmas. Yeah. But like, there were songs that had just been coming for the last six months or something. But then, the rest of the band, will we'll all get on with it, uh, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. 
but we have we've been kind of playing some of them in sound checks and we did a new one in Chicago I mean it's boring everybody says the new songs are great so just mm. they could be rubbish you know what I mean but it's uh, but it's that excitement as you say which surely drives you on because it's yeah it that does but I don't want to go I don't want to be like oh yeah our new album you know <laughs> yeah. it's the best ever because everybody does that I'll tell you what don't then what's I'll play next? a record what's next I'm going to play this record oh, gold mainly rush. because I think you might like it and uh, this is by a band who you used well, to I might like it yeah I think you'll like this is it heavy I'll, I'll just play it look this is Gold Rush and this is a forthcoming single called Same Picture It's by Gold Rush. They used to be Whispering Bob, I think, and uh, that's called Same Picture. And uh, we've got. When's it come out? What does it come out on? Oh, it's it's on Truck Records, uh, which is a little independent label from Oxford. Nice little setup. The lead singer sounds like he's called Robin. Sounds like he's called Robin. I don't know. So I'll simply <laughs> check that. He is called Robin. Is he? Yeah. Oh, you've got some notes or something. You're cheating. That doesn't work. Does everybody, all your listeners, know that you have a big schedule? I well, we obviously make up some. I can't just pull all, all these the things out of uh, out of you know the back of my head. Some of them we have to write down beforehand. Oh, no. Listen, before we do some more emails, shall we? Oh, I'm going to go to a phone line anyway. Let's just try one. Um, Kerry, is this Kerry? Hello, Kerry. Hiya. You want to talk to Chris? Yeah, hi, Chris. Hello, hello, Kerry. How are you doing? Where did you come from, Kerry, anyway? I'm from Loughborough University. Loughborough University? Yeah. What are you studying? Uh, illustration. Oh, are you? Nice. Yeah, and that's linked to my question, actually. Okay, which right. is? Yeah, I really, Chris, I really like your video for Don't Panic. Do you? Yeah, it's really lovely. Thank I wonder you. who made it, and did you have any input into the idea for it? Yeah, we, you know what I mean? We have input into everything. Mm. We say yes or no to everything, because mm. we're the boss. But the guy that made it is this guy called Tim, who's, he looks like he's homeless yeah <laughs> but he isn't and he, he comes in and we said we really want an animated video because we hate being in videos but even mm. though we are in it you know what i mean mm. so um what's what explain it because i haven't seen it it's kind of just it's like um how, how do you i don't know how do you explain it it's just part animated are you it's like south you park but, it? but with a bit oh, right. it's like south park but with a bit more sort of domestic stuff right <laughs> I don't know, it's like... Lucky you're a singer. But it's all right. But it, what happened... So, because I was... I just hate... Vi I hate everything at the moment, but... Uh, <clears throat> we wanted to animate a video, so we got this guy, Tim, and he was really cool. And we just said, look, this is what... We just want an animated video. You do what you want. And yeah. he went away, and he just came back with that, and he was like... Funnily enough, the way he got the thing was by... We saw a video that he made for his dad just to say happy birthday or something. Really? And it was just loopy. And it was him, and he was like surrounded by spaceships, and it was just really odd and really funny. And so we said, "Great, you know, go and do something." And, and we were in. It took us ten minutes to do our bits, and then he came back, and that was that. You know. Are you are you hassling for work, Kerry? Sorry. Are you hassling for work? Do you want to work on the next next oh, one? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> right. Yeah, I could send my ideas. <laughs> because well, I don't know, but well, you maybe could because we don't want to be in videos very much. So you could have a whole series of videos just getting less and more and more into the background. I think just was, yeah. animation takes over. Yeah, showcasing new talent. Yeah, yeah, all right. There you go. You see, we're taking number, Kerry. Uh, that's Kerry and Loughborough. It's never going to happen, is it? <laughs> of course. You never know. I, I say one of those things, but my image is like this nice bloke, but it's never going to happen. <laughs> Kerry, isn't it? I don't know. I'm never going to find out who you are. She's, she's now throwing your record. Leave your name and address. I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out. Yeah, did you do that with guest lists? Yeah, no problem. I do do that with guest lists. Do you know what I mean? Do you? But I don't want Kerry to be upset, but... Do you know what I mean? I've never, I don't even know where Loughborough is. Kerry's the sort of girl near, um, sort of, Leicester type of way, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, but Kerry's one of those girls, people like that, they're always the people you meet about three years' time, where they're now the yeah, MDs no, exactly. of record companies. She'll be doing Simpsons or something. <laughs> and I'll have been the one that says, oh, it's never going to happen. <laughs> and I'll be trying to get a gig at the Falcon with yeah. my solo career like Sting. No, you'll be... You'll that's be. my plan. That's my plan. The boys don't know. What, the solo plan. career? Oh, yeah. Next. Okay. Uh, Rob, let's take another call. Rob? Yeah, this is Rob. Hello, Rob. Uh, Rob. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Northampton at the moment. From Northampton. And uh, what's your question for Chris? Okay, um, what, was the, what was your favourite gig that you've ever played? Oh, is this a loaded question? Are you going to say it was Northampton Roadmender? Or no, was, no, no, no. Okay. No, not Northampton, because that was rubbish. Was oh, it? Were you, were you at it there? Uh? Was it, were you at that gig? No, I wasn't. No, that was before I really sort of heard about Coldplay. I'm quite new to the whole scene. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, we met at college, and... 
<laughs> I'll tell you the whole story. Yeah. No, we, have, we don't, gig, don't have time. My favourite gig was in Australia just the other day. Yeah. Because uh, we were just, every night we'd either see a great band or we'd be playing a great place. And that's yeah. where we were, with like Polly Harvey and uh, at the drive-in. And, yeah. and we were playing this big festival called The Big Day Out, you know. Yeah. And, and all those were great. We played one in Sydney and it felt like we were you too, you know, because there was just a sea of people. Yeah. And yeah. that was good. And we, we, we have good ones. Oh, yeah. Los Angeles was really good. You know, I can never tell, you know, I come off stage and say, oh, that was brilliant, and everybody else is not. It's always Guy, our bass player, thinks it's rubbish. But when he thinks it's good, I tend to think it's bad. And yeah. Is it? Is it Guy? Is it, is well, it one good? of us always thinks it's rubbish, except for occasionally when we all think it's good, but what I'm trying to say is I can't remember <laughs> when we all thought it was good. There you go, Rob. His, his memory's hey, useless. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> that's, the, that's the score. What's now? What's now? This will be MOP next on the evening session. Stephen Mac, Chris Martin, until 10 o'clock tonight. Cold as ice. This is. Say it with a deeper voice. I've got to do it like, uh, like Dave Pierce. This is cold as ice. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Martin, I've got my Steve Dave Pierce voice on there. Cold lower. as ice. You have to go cold lower. Cold as ice. Lower. lower. Cold as ice. That's cold as ice. That's not. I can't do it. I don't need to get on Radio 3. I don't know. It's had enough. Radio 3. In Chris home. Martin Breakfast. That's what it's going to be like after we've flopped and my solo album's gone down the drain. I thought two minutes ago you were saying you're going to be standing outside the Camden Falcon with a, you know, little plastic cup. Drive but time. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, pretty good, isn't it? That's drive time. With Woody Allen. <laughs> <laughs> do you, I could do my impressions. You, I, I was gonna and my low voice. I was going to say, as a stand-up act. With Fred Durst. Do you do no, anyone no. else? <laughs> apart no. from Fred Durst and Woody Allen. No. At night, I just create conversations between the two of them. Do you? I don't know why you want to hate me. Oh, why is that? <laughs> <laughs> um, should we do some more emails? I think possibly. Can we not do more San I tell you what, though. I tell you what. I tell you what. Just what between uh, okay. you and me, right? All right. Will, our drummer, he really can do impressions. Can he? he? Really, really, but he really can. I, I mean, I can't. I can do, like, Frank Spencer. I did it when I was 13. I'm never doing it again because I took loads of shit for it for years. Right. But, uh... He can do, like, Michael Owen and bizarre people. Really? And who's that other bloke he does? Oh, yeah, Chris Tarrant. All these funny people. Chris Tarrant is one that a lot of people do now. Chris Tarrant is yeah, going to okay, take over. Okay, but right, but Michael right. Owen, I'm, Michael I'm Owen is good. Because no one knows what, really what he's like. He does look... And oh, Alec Guinness, you know, the, the guy and these aren't the droids you're looking for from Star Wars. He does that perfect. You should have had him on because it would have been better. Coldplay at home. The winter evenings just fly by. <laughs> Another of uh, Chris's selections after this from Electra Lane. Finally. And ended up doing six lines of crack with Dido. Oh, oh shit. Damn. Um, oh, we're on. Uh, Electra Lane from the album, which is called Electra Lane, and uh, it's on the. Is it called? No, it's actually called Rocket to the Moon. What label was it on, Steve? It's on Let's Rock Records, which is their own label. They come from Brighton. But oh, I'm not right. reading it was that. Last year they had a single on Fierce Panda. Yeah, they did. That's right. Fierce Panda. In fact, weren't they at the party on the Fierce, the Fierce Panda boat party? The one where you uh, accused me there. of trying to contaminate the Thames. Did I? Yeah. Well, you should have gone to the proper <laughs> toilet. <laughs> Max, <laughs> wasn't that, was it? You, can you say, um, um, Lisa, yes, Panda dis distribution of Lisa, that was, that was a problem. Oh, yeah. Invalid, yeah, invalid Lisa department. Yeah, right. Yeah. We were chucking crisps around, weren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. I've met Bono. Just one of those I've nights. Bono, man. Yeah. Uh, Chris Martin, Steve Lamac, uh, that's the right way around. Uh, on the <laughs> evening session till 10 o'clock tonight, that was the lecture line. This is going to be the pick season. Actually, no, just very quickly, uh, Sanjay Patel says, uh, my question for Chris is, what were you like at school? Were you shy? Talkative? Oh, you know. Good at cricket? Bad at cricket? What, is he referring to that Long hair? cricket Long story? Hair. No, I'm just adding things in there. Okay. Willy nilly. I don't really... You know, school was school. School was fine. I hated it for a long time and then I thought it was okay. Right. And you, it's you, funny, I went to a boarding school, you know. I did. Which you? isn't very cool at all. Right. But I was the only one of our band that did, so I don't really talk about it much. Right. Because it's, you know, our drummer gives me... Single, shit for it. single sex. Can I say that word? Sing, single, single sex boarding school, was it? Yeah, mm. yeah. All right. But we uh, were really, I, you know, I, you know, but I, you know, who cares? Who cares where you went to school? I went to a public school. Uh, but I, you know, 
What yeah. were you good at? But do you know what Joe Strummer did as well? Did he? Yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. Funny that. It does I mean, it really bears no relation to... Plus, we've always been honest about it, it. You know what I mean? If I tried to start talking like Ian Brown, we'd get discovered. Yeah. Uh, next time round, though, come back with an Ian Brown impersonation. It might be better than your Liam one. Tell us My about... My Liam the one is good. <laughs> Do tell it. us about what, sorry? Tell us about the Pixies. All right, or okay. Pixies, in fact, because that's a... It's not, a mistake, they never were called it, the Pixies, the the. the there's no the. Yeah. No. Pixies? Do you want to tell you about the Pixies? I can tell you from the start, because I've read that article in Mojo. Oh, so you've memorised their entire life story. I know how they story. Do you know, they met at college, just like us, so we're not that uncool. And what drew you to the Pixies? Oh, sorry, Pixies. Well, do you know, I had a friend when I was 13 called Bruce, and I used to go around his house, and he was into fishing and the Pixies. <laughs> and uh, at that time, I was in that more, order, <laughs> yeah, I was more interested in fishing. Ten years on, I was wrong. Fishing, no good. It's <laughs> cruel. The Pixies, great. He used to. He sat there and he played me bossa over the record and like Surfer Rosa and all that. And I just didn't get it. There was this guy. Oh God, it's six and the doing it. I didn't understand it. You know, I was into aha. And uh, <laughs> and um, but then the other day, I just got into the Pixies about a year ago, <clears throat> because. I just thought, wow. You know, I'm kind of weird like that because but they, suddenly, suddenly they suddenly sounded really good. Mm. And it happened with Oasis, it happened with the Pixies, it happened with Pulp, it happened with Bob Dylan. It's going to happen with you to Bob Dylan. To you with Bob Dylan, I mean. Because you don't like Bob Dylan. Me? No, well, the record was coming out before 1977. This is uh, from <laughs> Pixies. This is the best song ever written. Whatever. <laughs> no, you're going to say that about every song you've picked. No, I'm not going to say that because, uh, you know, all the others are good. This has the best guitar riff you'll ever... This is, this is easy to play. E starts on E. Right. Then I think it goes to like A flat or something. A, a flat. And then uh, it's, okay, it's easy. You don't even need to buy the book. Don't, gonna... don't buy our book. It's a rip-off. <laughs> no, just to... Get e, this album instead. E, A flat something from Pixies. From this the album Surfer Rosa. It's... What's it called? Surfer Rosa. This is Where Is My Mind. Oh, right, I see. Stop. <laughs> okay, I'll do it then. Isn't that good? I can do all that for some stuff. Oh, if I, if I only got reverb on that, it sound that, like Mariah Carey. Yeah, if I only knew where the button was. Uh, Pixies and Where Is My Mind. You see, that's so easy to play if you've got a friend and you've both got guitars. Yeah, it's that? such a buzz. I played it the other day with my friend Simon. Did you, uh, did you do, or do you still, t for fun, do cover versions? Yeah, last night I spent, um, because I couldn't sleep, so I just got up and learned how to play a Johnny Cash song. Really? Which one? Uh, a song called Ring of Fire. Really? Uh, burns, 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 Ring of Fire. fire. Yeah, K karaoke on the evening session. Because I just got a new guitar and I'm, so I just play it all the time. Do you? Uh, do you have a collection of them now, then? I have, you about, you have a room. Do you? Yeah. Well, a wing, really. <laughs> more, more like an annex. No, I have, I have loads. Our bass player has the most guitars. He's always buying guitars. Really? Does he, he, has, he has a pedal steel. He has two pedal steels, you know, like country instruments, and he has about six basses and four other guitars. And You know, he's cool. He, he's like Clapton. Is he? No, he's not. The Knight of a Thousand Bassists. <laughs> <laughs> the Royal Albert Hall. <laughs> have, you, have you seen that? In Spinal Tap, they all play bass on one song, so maybe we'll do that with him. Was, yeah, or to just get loads of people to guess with your own guitars. Can I just ask you about this, very quickly? Mm -hmm. The Chinese government have blocked the commercial release of the Parachutes album because of its inflammatory political content. The track Spies was singled out as the prime offender. Yep. Banned in China. If you listen really carefully, it's, if you play it backwards, it says something about Mao Zedong. The line Spies came out of the water said backwards. And slowed down. I didn't the think they'd find it. The vinyl version is even more scary. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I don't know why that happened, actually, but it's the coolest thing that's ever happened to us, I think. <laughs> I say thank goodness for that. Being I, banned in China. It's not easy being the next Travis. <laughs>
So what's um, what do you what do you do when you get time off? Apart from going on holiday, which you're doing and writing songs, uh, do you, do you, do you actually get time to muck around and have fun, like playing on a guitar and, yeah, things, like, and listening to records? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I just want to do our next thing, our next record. That's what all I think about, really. And have you got that planned through the year? Uh, kind of, kind of. We <clears throat> we are at the end of like because to all this kind of going around the world and it's brilliant. Mm. But it, it's but you kind really of want weird to be, for us. Really want so to we, so we, so we, we said at the beginning of the year to our people, we said, listen, for every month of promo we do, we want a month to ourselves, you know, to do our own thing. Oh, and that's, we, that's we got that, and so, so it means haggling. We, yeah, right. Yeah, and uh, and so it means that our next record's coming on at the same time as we're still flogging the other one to death. <laughs> <laughs> so it's one month for you. Because I think one we can milk it a bit more. Do you reckon? There's at least six more singles on there. <laughs> when we re-release Yellow. For a fourth time. With a guest appearance by, I don't know, someone funny. Well, because you wouldn't need a guest appearance. If we get the reverb, you could just do re-vocal it as Mariah Carey. Yeah, right. Do it again. Okay. Pretend it's her. Do an animated video Yellow. with her in it. <laughs> Strokes in session next, and this is uh, another of the tracks recorded at the Maid of Ale Studios. This is This Life. Strokes in session and the best is yet to come as well, which is uh, tomorrow night it's a version of one of the tracks which hasn't been released yet in the country, uh, but is in the live set, which is uh, New York City Cops on tomorrow night's programme. That's uh, this life though from Strokes in session with the fantastic names. They've got proper fantastic rock the and roll names, aren't they? Julian Casablancas. Uh, uh, Albert How Hammond cool Jr. Fabrizio Moretti. Everything about them is Nicolai pretty cool, Frencher. I think. Skinny tyres and everything. Anyway, strokes in session, which brings us to this, because uh, at the end of last year, we said, uh, please vote in the end of year evening session poll, and somebody uh, who we'll pick out at random from the poll forms will win um, a special disc of their choice, and uh, or basically, you know, the band which they picked in all their categories or voted for heavily, or in fact voted for in the evening session, session of the year category. So we did this, and uh, it turns out, obviously, Coldplay, one best session no, of the no, year. I there can't we, believe there we go. that. That was amazing. And uh, it's actually a Coldplay fan who's won, and we'll be getting a special Coldplay disc. The winner is... Tom White. Tom That's White. Really Hopefully you're listening at home. Out of all the people who uh, entered... Uh, we it's pretty picked, smart, picked, this. Picked your name out, and uh, we've got it actually here. Silver frame. Got a disc and a bit of an inscription. And it's got a British flag in the corner, because <laughs> when you get these discs, apparently... You get flags. Listen, I'm, I'm, uh, you, you've made my life such a misery. I've just got loads of Bob Dylan fans who are emailing me now. Yeah. You, you see, could, I you could all bond, like, bond later on. Well up. <laughs> yeah, you reckon? I just played Dylan. There's so many fans. Can you do Dylan? I can, but I'm not going to dare. Oh, go on. I've do had it. my film. I'm not Alistair McGowan. Listen, you wanted to play P. J. Harvey next, but I'm not going to do it until you do Dylan. Go on. No. <laughs> Give me another record. Hey, PJ Heavy. One day I know we'll find a place of home. Just hold on to me. It's PJ Harvey. It's a place called home. Here's some more emails. Oh, yeah. I'm going to read out emails. Like a real DJ. You were going to do the weather earlier on. That was between me and you. Gosh. Okay. You were going to do that other thing. No, we were going to talk about the fact that, um, wasn't it, all bands have got a weather-related song at the moment. I know, if you want to be big, this is a tip to young bands. You've got to have a weather song. That's nonsense, I don't know what I'm talking about. Snow. I've lost the plot. Let yeah. me read an email. Go. This is a guy called Nat, or maybe it's a girl. But her mate's band, his mate's band, I don't know, Nat, it's like Hillary. Could be a boy, could be a girl. If you were to do a cover, what song would you choose? Well, Nat in Macclesfield. I, last night, I would have chosen a Johnny Cash song, but today I'm not so sure. Because I think you need to be heavy. I think you should, if you have an acoustic guitar, you should get an electric one. That's my frame of mind today, so you, I, I, would, cover, I would cover that one. Right. Where is my mind by the pixies, but we'd get bottled, you know? And I've been bottled, it's not fun. I got I got an email earlier from a guy who's like now claiming to be my mate, but he booed me when I was 15. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's called Mark. He got me into the Stone Roses, but I'm, if he's listening, I'm... I you remember. haven't forgotten. I was in, I was in, a, I was in a band uh, that sounded like the Pet Shop Boys. So he was probably right. 
But there's no excuse to just ring in and, you what, know. What were the bands who sounded like the Pet Shop Boys? What were they like? We were rubbish. Right. I mean, what, we had to go. What were they called? I can't tell you that. Oh, God. <laughs> no. You always know you get so far with these I people. I should say hello to everyone on our website as well. Hello. Well, that's what this other email says. I went on our website, though. Man. I went on that message board and it frightens me. I don't like it. Why? Because, uh, uh, you know what I mean? If you're the singer and you're reading some weird stuff, you know. Oh, there's bound to be all sorts of We cancelled some stuff. gigs and we got some flack. Quite right, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> well, was it unfair flack or...? No, it was fair. It was like, you know, they're just in it for this and that and that, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Do you sometimes feel that, you, you, you know, this is the, the, it's things like this or times when you do interviews where you can actually try and explain what, you know, is going on sometimes? Yeah, but the thing is we never it. do. No. Like, we never do. We're rubbish at that. I wish we could, I mean, well, I, you know, I said, like, like I said earlier, like, nobody really realises that we're in control, if you know what I mean. Mm. Everybody thinks it's kind of some, you know, major label, like, you know, on the, isn't it, it's like a sort of indie boy band or something. Mm. Or Phil, Phil has suddenly turned into... Yeah, you know, right, but you know, on, our, our manager's our best mate and, uh, you know, it's just kind of everything from our album covers to how it was produced to uh, every, you know, everything mm. goes through us, you know. And mm. I don't, you know, it's geeky to say it, that's why I don't say it. But. No, but it's, I mean, it's, it's a fair point to make. And also, it's just some things happen, don't they? You yeah. Know, sometimes you can't, you know, there's nothing uh, that you can do when, you know, if you lose yeah. a voice or you have to go and do something yeah. like this. Because it's probably, it's not like you're going to do something which is actually going to undermine the band and you're not going to intentionally no. uh, make people unhappy. I hate, Are you? I hate cancelling, you know. But the thing is, when we were in America... You've blown me out on numerous occasions. Uh, have we? No. <laughs> <laughs> we got sounds two, like a Ricky Martin song. We've got two more records to come. Radio 1. Now then, everyone's got a longer show and we haven't. Right. So let's have a listen to what they've been doing with the extra time. Right till I, right till Let's crack out on the evening session. It's last in line. This has been Steve Lamack and Chris Martin from Coldplay on the show tonight. John Peel is coming up in one record time. Thank you very much for coming. Oh, thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure. This. You're away on holiday. A couple of weeks, is it? Yeah. A couple of weeks. Come back. Write some new songs. No, no. We get work on ones we got already. Get worked. Get to work on all the songs you've got. Thanks and, for having us, though. Happy birthday for when is it? Um, Friday. What do you get? The man in Coldplay who's got everything? You get him some more... Dylan Records, tell us, go on then. We've been I building up to this all night. The go main on, thing the I want to thank you yours. for is for letting me play Bob Dylan. And this is, the Mac hates it, I don't care. I'm in charge now. And this is Bob Dylan. And for all of you people who've been put off him by uh, Steve Friendly, the Mac, he's amazing. I thought he was just a joker who just went, Ee! but he doesn't. He's great and he's got hundreds of great songs. And this is called If Not For You. And thanks for having me. Goodbye.